All right, so now we're going to look at some uh, SolidWorks tools that are really great for anyone, you know, designing 3D printable parts. Um, so uh, the first one up here is the 3D texture tool. I'm going to get this video going. Um, this is really cool. You can see over on the, the side here some of the parts we've done with it. So first thing you do is you hit that little color wheel on the right-hand side, navigate down to miscellaneous, and then 3D textures. There's a massive list of pre-built uh, textures in there. It's just a grayscale image, so if you want to make your own in Photoshop, you can. Um, I'm going to grab diamond plate and just drag and drop it on the surface and just apply it. Um, and then navigate to the little color wheel uh, for that surface that I just dropped it on. And now I'm going to apply it to the entire part. Um, so once I have it applied, I'm going to go to mapping and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so I get the density of that diamond plate pattern a little bit higher. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you can see the, the entire block is covered in it there. So now I'm going to green check it. And the, the 3D texture command is buried in some toolbar somewhere. I can never remember. So I always just search 3D texture uh, and it pops right up. So um, in that case, you just grab it, click on your part. Uh, it identifies that there are two groups of surfaces that have texture. And then you go in and you just start filling in your parameters. Um, a good rule of thumb is like a starting place is 50% uh, um, for the first box, uh, 50 thousandths uh, for your uh, your kind of height of your texture, and then 20 thousandths for the actual element size um, of your texture. Uh, those are good places to start. You can see the, the preview kind of updates on the screen as you go um, to kind of show you what it's going to look like. Um, you can play with those numbers. They can make a huge difference, but they can also make your file massive, so be careful there. Um, so I just green checked it and uh, I'm kind of rotating it around, kind of looking at the texture. Because Shaded Edges is turned on, it's kind of hard to see what's going on. So I actually recommend going in and turning off Shaded Edges after you apply this. Um, I find that coupled with like a plain white background, um, it, you can really see what's going on with your texture. It's not so dark and kind of cloudy of what you're actually looking like or looking at. So um, really recommend playing around with this one. Um, you do have to uh, uh, run these parts on something like an MJF machine, a DLP machine, Polyjet, um, something like that, because you need really high resolution. Like an FDM machine or most SLAs wouldn't be able to make this part actually, make the texture actually pop off of the part. It just wouldn't turn out. So you are limited on what you can run it on, but highly recommend playing with it because it can add a really cool effect to your, your 3D printed manufactured part um, that you just really can't get any other way. Okay, well, that is my presentation. Uh, I appreciate your time and sticking with me here to the end. Um, we covered a lot of ground today. Um, you know, definitely hit me up and I'd be happy to share this slide deck with you. Um, again, Paul DeWise, and uh, you can see on the screen here is my email address. So, you know, shoot me an email or uh, I'm extremely active on LinkedIn as well. So please uh, reach out and uh, connect with me on LinkedIn and, you know, slide into my DMs. I'd be happy to send you the, the slide deck that way as well. Um, you know, also I'm, I'm always happy to answer questions or give feedback on design. So, you know, if you're working on something and, uh, it's going to be 3d printed and you're looking for someone to be a second set of eyes, you know, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I do a lot of that. Um, and also one last shameless plug, check out our website, uh, forerunner3d.com. Um, it's got a ton of great information. We do a lot of testing and a lot of R and D and we publish everything to our website. So there's great design guides for all the technologies we talked about today um, with a lot of content that you're just not going to find anywhere else. Um, so, yeah. So thank you so much for your time and attention and uh, look forward to hopefully hearing from you.